Buddy, last time we finished Uncharted 1. So now it's time for the second one Among the Thieves. Let's go. This one is easiest for me. Okay, by the way, um, I found all the treasures in this game. <clears throat> Take a quick look. Alright, let's go to number one. in a hard place. Let's beat it on easy again like it did to the other one. Which one? I'm definitely not going to delete a hundred guns. Oh. I'll delete 75 the monastery. You ready everybody? Let's start a new hunt. I did not tell half of what I saw before I knew what what no believe, believe, be believed Marco Polo on his deathbed. How do they always find something to climb on? There's a theory that when Drake is getting shot at, 
and he gets shot, that that is just his um, luck meter going down. Because this guy is so freaking lucky. See what I mean? That could have fallen and he could have plummeted to his death. That too. He made that up from like. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh -oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. And I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. Yeah. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, Three actually. actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe, Chloe. Nate, 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 Drake, Nathan, Nathan. Drake. Drake. Hello, Harry. Harry. Chloe here's Chloe one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. Going through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your up. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 30th century Latin? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it is nonsense. Am I? So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in. Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only 
one ship and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shall the fate of the 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the sight of the lost fleet. So... We're to keep this guy over, right? Damn straight. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> He's alive! Karma's a bitch. So much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. 
Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. No. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said. We pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn. Mm -hmm. I hate Chloe. And, and then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. Trust me. <clears throat> I always say it's a dream. The snow is so fluffy. That would be good eating snow. Eating snow good. Building snow bad. The dagger. Better if I had a gun. You won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. We have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. This way. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You copy bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. <clears throat> you need to have a little more faith in each other. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. Hold on. We can't even get close with those floodlights. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. 
Alright, enough chat. Let's okay, this. after the cinema is done, I'm gonna end the video. This is the shorter one, because I need to do something. See you on the See other you. side. Looking forward to it. Sure you know where you're going. Okay, goodbye everybody. Um this is it for today's video. Bye bye.